sometimes in life. There are situations that take place that are outside of our control that leaves a negative impact on us. It leaves us feeling overwhelmed and feeling stuck in the position that we're in. I'm happy to say that as of this point, there's now more help for people in this kind of situation. This video will help to make one of the most emotionally challenging aspects of mortgages to deal with easier to handle. My name is Hadi Nakri and I've been a mortgage advisor since 2006. I went through the peak. I saw the crash and I came out at the other end armed with a wealth of experience and knowledge to be able to help guide you every step of the way. So in this video, I will be looking at the credit impaired market, what it actually means and how lenders are now rising to the challenge to meet a section of society that is deemed credit impaired. So what is being credit impaired? Well, credit impaired is when there's been a deterioration in an individual's, an entity's or a couple for financial associations credit score. This is reflected in a lower credit rating set down by the credit reference agencies and lenders would use this to assess the credit worthiness of the applicant coming to them. If that applicant is deemed too low, they cannot approach that lender because they don't match that lender's credit worthiness. So examples of what could have an impact on a person's credit worthiness. Well, an individual could miss a credit card payment. And if they missed it on a consistent basis, that credit card payment turns from a missed payment to a default notice. If that trend still continues, then the default notice turns from default to a county court judgment. If the default notice or county court judgment is applied, that stays on an individual's credit file for the next six years. Once a CCJ or default has been applied, it stays on the credit file for six years and the impact that it has on a borrower's ability to get a mortgage or other credit in the future is reduced. There are many more aspects to being credit impaired. One of these aspects are being an IVA or an individual voluntary arrangement. This is a court approved payment method to the creditors that you've accumulated once your debt has reached over a certain amount. It's reviewed every year and it's for a five year basis. If you have maintained your payments or if your income has increased and you decide to pay more based upon the insolvency practitioner's assessment of your circumstances, at the end of the five years, the debts are then wiped clean. If your debt is under a certain level, then you'll go under a debt management system and the same rules will apply. Your monthly payments will be taken into account, there'll be yearly assessments to ensure that if you can contribute more to the debt, you will. And once the end of the five years happens, the remaining debt is wiped clean. But this will have an impact on your credit profile. There is also a full and final settlement, which is basically where your creditors give one sum, you raise that money, pay off that sum, and the remaining debt is wiped clean. And that can be set up either individually, or you can use a specialist to help you get that arranged. The final aspect is bankruptcy. All your debts are wiped clean. However, your assets could be seized to repay your creditors back. So think carefully before you take any kind of these approaches. So now it's time for the good news. Lenders in this current market have decided to open themselves up more to being able to help people who have experienced any of these credit problems in the past. There is a stigma attached that a lot of these lenders will charge more in interest rates or will charge more in fees. Now that can be the case, but in other cases, they're quite comparable and they can actually help. Further to this, there may be additional criteria set down by the lenders before you can even approach them, such as you may have needed to have been out of an IVA 
for three years before you can approach a lender. But more of the building size and some of the mainstream lenders are now coming to help people who have been in that kind of situation. So have no fear, if you were an ex-bankrupt, if you had a default notice, a CCJ, even an IVA that's been satisfied, look at it like this. Everything will be assessed upon a case-by-case -case basis. And a lender will look at your situations and how you conducted yourself after the event has taken place. Sometimes it's a manual check. And the computer says no does not apply to your specific situation. That's just the basics. And I hope I put your mind at ease. But as with everything out there, there's different aspects being credit impaired. And there's different solutions to help people move from a bad situation to a better situation. One of them could be a bridge loan or it could be a second charge. But either way, it will require detailed advice and be working on a case by case basis. So if you feel that you need that kind of advice, please click on the link here or here or contact the number displayed here and I'll be happy to guide you through the processes.